afternoon. Say good afternoon, class. Good, good afternoon, afternoon, teachers. How are you this afternoon? We uh, are good. Okay, how Not so bad. Right? So, Sezika, how it to be? What? How it to be? No. So, welcome again for our class today. So, I'm going to teach about it. They want to pronounce how to understand well about it. Uh, firstly, uh, everybody please pay attention to reading my explanation. Uh, because we last time, I will ask you one by one to give an example that, uh, that I, will, I will explain for all of us. So, the first one is, uh, before I'm, uh, I'm going to explain about the, the most pronounced, uh, see the white word first. Yeah, this is uh, the learning procedure this uh, afternoon, especially for the most pronounced. Um, the first of all, I have to ask one of us here. Uh, who is knowing about what is the meaning of the most pronounced? And which is up on uh, Raza. Do you know what is the meaning of the most pronounced? I don't know what's pronounced. Uh, one person, raise your hand and tell me. What's pronounced? Yeah. The most that is pronounced. Yeah, it's your time. To show something to demonstrate. Yeah, to demonstrate. Okay, who else? To indicate something. The most that is pronounced. Ruben. To say to say the position of something. Indicate. Or anything. Yeah, near or far. Good. Adelina. Things to indicate. Something. Okay. Indicate something. Or something. In on or. Yeah, Mr. Benny. Benny, Mr. Benny. <laughs> you Do we have any idea about the most pronounced? Yesterday we we studied in uh, Portuguese oh, subject okay. demonstrative pronoun, but oh, okay. I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, but yesterday is already passed, yeah, but I'm today you are the student. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to clarify a little bit between every of you that different ideas like Miss Dolores say that to, you know, to show something. something. Uh, uh, yeah. Ruben say that to show the position of something. To indicate. Yeah, to indicate something. Okay, so good. Uh, the correct one is the most pronounced so or to identify or to indicate something that near or far, uh, especially plural and singular. And it's like this and that, and those and this. So, how to understand that all of us to understand about uh, these plural, the types of the most pronounced like singular and the types of the most pronounced plural. So, let us see together about this one. So, I just make the schedule or the way make. The first one is singular and the second is plural. So in singular we also divide it in two parts. Two parts like uh, this, 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 uh, yeah, what else? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That. And then plural, how many? This, this those. Yeah. These and those. 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 those, yeah, those. So how we are going to understand one by one between those words? Yeah. Here, I will explain uh, how to use these and how to use that, and also how to use these and this plural and those plural. So, the auxiliary verb that we are using in uh, the most pronounced special for a singular, uh, this one we have to use uh, auxiliary verb like what? This one? Auxiliary verbs. I don't know the R is. Yeah. Is. Is. To be. Is. Yeah. And plural. Is to be. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Good. Um, here, try to focus on here. This, this singular, it is indicated for something that near for us we can touch it. And I can raise my hand and like, uh, write. For example. This. Marker in my hand, right? Yeah. So I cannot say that that, but this, the, this, this. because in my hand and purple for you. For example, this marker in your hand 
But for, for me, how can I answer like that. that or this? That. That. Good. That is. Because of for purpose. The meaning of this, of singular, this is what I must pronounce this. This is to indicate something that near for us and we can touch it. So that, this is what we can indicate for something that near or far for us, we can touch it. So the so our hand, or we can say far, farther. So, but only one thing, never two about. For example, this is a market. This is a market, for example, like this is a market, we aim more article A there. Why we, can, we have to use article A market in this one? Singular, yes, yeah. of course, because of the singular here. This is, this. and as over here, this is a market. This is a market. Why we use or we put article A before the noun? Why? This is a market. Who is under? Yeah? Only one. Because only one thing. Only one thing. Because article A to identify one thing only. Never two above. In two above, you use a, a demos pronoun, plural, like these and those. those. Yeah. You have to catch the, the main point of uh, this. This indicates for something that near for us in my, our hand, or we can raise our hand right. So, but only one thing. But we have to know the, the names of the nouns. The first letter of the nouns uh, start from consonant or vowel. If you start uh, the letter like consonant, we Automatically, we have to use a. 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 every consonant. Start uh, a. B until Z. Or Z. Yeah. C. So, some question appear like uh, the, the, the nouns, the names of the nouns start uh, for vowel oh. letters. How to use in singular like this and that? How to use a body? This is so, a. we must. And we must focus on here, so I give an example, and after this, I will practice with all of you. Uh, use the singular and plural. So, an example like that. That is uh, and, and what? An umbrella. Yeah. An apple. So, the first example I have explained for all of us, for all of you. Uh, the second example I ask for every of you, one person raise your hand, like to explain for me, or explain for your friends that the first one is already given for us tradition, but the second one I try to uh, try to answer. Who wants to answer the second or to explain about the second example for your friends? Me. Yeah, Adelina. Why we use uh, an article uh, and before the noun. Before the noun, because apple is far with a, and it's a vowel. We use, we have to use n, not a. Yes. But it's the pen and our pronunciations. Good. Everybody, do you agree? Yes, teacher. Hello. Do you agree, Miss Dolores? Yes, teacher. Yeah. It's yes. correct. Why we put a uh, thicker end before the noun apple and so umbrella, iron, eraser? The first letter we start uh, by, from uh, vowels. Yeah. Every vowels that start from the nouns or the next nouns, we have to put article and end. So I hope you understand. Come to your plural. Uh, this one also you try to understand. So for example, I give one example here. These are. Uh, these are tears. These are tears. So, one question appeared. Everybody, please focus on that. These are tears. These are tears. So, in singular, we put article A and N. So, plural, we lose, we lose uh, article. Why? Because it's many. Because? Because two things then? About. About. Things about. Good. More than one. About. More than one. one. More, than, more than one. We lost that thing. Because article A and N, this one to identify only one thing. Only one thing. And also, we have to know the, the name of the nouns start at vowel or consonant. This one. Yeah, I hope you understand. 
this one. These are chairs. These are tables. These are fans. These are windows. These are irons. These are whiteboards. An example. Those are these. An example. These are markers. These are markers. So the meaning of uh, these. This one to uh, indicate that something is near. But try to remember that these are indicated for near but two things about Aba. this is the definition of this plural. Okay? Difference between this is singular, this singular indicates for uh, near things but only one thing. Okay? So come to those. those. Because of time, so I make the song. Those are. You try to give me an example. Those, those are, are books. Those are books. Those are those are books. These are also the same. Those are books, but something near far for us. But to think about, we lost that figure because that figure that's already known, right? Already known that figure is not.